All right now, welcome back to Sister Circle Live. And we're all about our 2020 transformation. And a lot of us are being very intentional about our health. And today we're starting with what we are putting into our bodies here to give us some helpful tips. It's Chef Gully, one of our favorites. Hi. It's good to see good you to see again. You Before we get into this though, uh -huh. I wanna just congratulate you. Thank I was you. able to attend your vegan brunch yesterday and yes. it was absolutely, it was so delicious. Thank you. From, from when, when we walked in the door to the very end. So thank you so much. Thank what was the experience you. like for you? Cause that was the first time you the did that. The first one, yes. yes. Um, I've been envisioning this forever. Yeah. I want to do like a nice brunch with nice settings. I love that vegans can be hippie and there's nothing wrong with that. We love it. Uh -huh. We also want to dress up sometimes and go places. Yes. And I wanted the ambiance to meet the food and, you know, it did. all that good stuff. Yes, Thank that's you. good. That's good. So let's talk about the difference between eating and or drinking our greens. So yes. many people have opinions. I'd love to hear yours. Okay. So drinking them um, two ways, right? Okay. So juicer, which in this case, um, it's a cold press juicer. Okay. So instead of a blade, this is literally what crushes the greens oh. and makes a juice for you. Okay. This, um, when you drink it this way, your body absorbs the nutrients really fast. Okay. So this is really good for you. Yeah, I never knew right. the difference between the difference. cold pressed and... Right, cold pressed doesn't have the blade. Okay. So it's it. literally like they're taking this and just Pressing it, pressing it mm -hmm. all the way. Okay, awesome. So that's good because it goes into your system really, really fast. Mm -hmm. uh, smoothies, you you know, you blend everything up in a blender, and that's that has the fiber in it. That's yeah. the difference, right. which is good for you too. And okay. This doesn't have fiber, but what do you prefer? I like them both. Yes. I, I'm into green juices lately because yeah. I really feel it immediately. I don't sleep much lately because of my new venture. Mm -hmm. So this gives me really good energy. Okay, okay. So what will we be making today? Yes. I'm going to help you because yes. I love kale. Some clubs. Yes. So I used my. to not um, understand how to make kale salad uh -huh. because people just drizzle a little bit of dressing on it and then they think oh gosh it doesn't taste good it's hot you know it's, right. it's real bitter and it can be you, rough too the leaves rough. are very rough but there's a i'm sure you have a yes a, so you de-stem them okay um get a salad spinner highly recommend salad, a salad spinner. spinner yes okay that way you can get all you know all the water off of it mm -hmm. and then well oh, you dropped one. <laughs> so you take an avocado and it. mash it in there with the kale. And you massage, massage it. it. Yes. So that way, so this much kale will probably make about a quarter size. When you cook down your greens, you know mm -hmm. how they come down to just yeah. a tiny little bit? Yeah. That's pretty much what's going to happen after you massage it. I love it um, because it softens the leaves too when you put this in here. Yep. Yep. And then you put a little bit of lemon juice. You squeeze you know. it in there. Mm -hmm. So you would do half an avocado. So if I, if no, I actually wanted, two, but I, there's yeah. one underneath in oh, there. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta get in there. You're. I think you're I'm in there. You got up. it. The leaves are falling on. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Because that will happen in the kitchen anyway. Am I yes. getting all of it? Yes, you are. So you want it to pretty much look like that. That's actually those four bowls. Mm -hmm. We started off with uh, one bunch of kale, believe okay. it or not. So you massage okay. it for a really oh, long wow. time. It's almost like cooking down. Right. So pink Himalayan salt or sea salt, basil. Mm hmm. Um, my son loves onions, so we do onion powders and flake, Yum. cumin, and I know you said you like spicy stuff. I do. You can put cayenne pepper or Ethiopian spice, mm -hmm. uh, meat mita. So that's, you know, it's a little spicy, but we throw that in there. Yes. And then uh, you massage, massage, massage. You can put whatever toppings on it. I have cherry tomatoes, um, carrots, mm -hmm. and red onions. So what's the, what, what is it about kale, first of all, that makes it so popular, but then secondly, mm -hmm. what makes it so good for you? It's got a, it's nutrient dense. Yeah. It's so good for you. Um, you need, just like, so vitamin D, right? Mm -hmm. You um, you absorb vitamin D if you eat a lot of greens. Mm -hmm. So you eat your greens, you go outside, get let yourself, you know, get some sun. Yeah. You have vitamin D. Just, and it's just, it's so good. Right. It's so versatile. And you've been vegan for, I mean, I know we talk about years. it when you come on, but mm -hmm. you've been, how long? Is over it, 10 years. Over 10 years. And mm -hmm. how has it benefited you health-wise? Because oh I know God. you started because I of some sick. health challenges. Yep. Yeah, I tell had us Crohn's about that. and colitis. Mm -hmm. And within seven days, it was gone. In seven it days. Was seven days. So you are like a, a miracle to some of your yes. doctors. Uh, yes. Yes. Oh, maybe you were misdiagnosed. Oh, really? Like for a whole six years? Uh, right. <laughs> yeah. Right. So it was. It was incredible. It was because of my husband. He was vegan at that time, and mm -hmm. I thought he was crazy. Really? Uh -huh, when I first met him. So first, for people who are like you know trying to like transition, um, and it's so hard because some right. people go to cold turkey and all of that. What do you suggest as far as about as far as the transition into this type of lifestyle? Lifestyle. So that's that's the key. 
if you choose to do this, don't think of it as a diet. Because mm -hmm. a diet, you're, you're not eating certain things. You're telling yourself, I can't have this, I can't have that, oh my God, I love this and I can't have it. No, a lifestyle is you're changing the way you live your whole life and right. how you feel. Yes. So if you constantly think about that, you're gonna have cravings. There's nothing we can do about it. We're right. all human beings. Right. Um, and it'll help with the cravings if you look at it as a lifestyle. Well, I want to taste yes. what we've prepared. Yes. And ooh, I can see, yeah, the it's, avocado. It's really can, creamy in there. Mm -hmm, it's real good. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mmm, that's delicious. Thank you. This is so good. I hate eating with my mouth full. <laughs> with but green. this is great. This is great. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Of course. The ladies are going to love this one. They, mm -hmm. We eat it after the show. And some of our people on the staff, too. Okay. <laughs> For more healthy eating Thank tips, you. you can follow Chef Gully on her Instagram at vegan chef. Chef, chef G-U-E-L-I. Yes. We'll be right back. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. This is delicious.